Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know, this is gonna be a get ready with me using all makeup that's going to help improve your skin over time. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So you may be thinking, how am I going to improve my skin with the makeup that I use? And it's really simple. Just make sure you purchase makeup that has skincare loving ingredients in it, or at least try to have at least most of your makeup up. Um, I talk a lot about skincare and if you use it consistently how your skin will improve over time. If you decide to go for a foundation make sure that it has something like hyaluronic acid or vitamin E or niacinamide. It just depends on what issue you're actually trying to address. You could look for those type of ingredients in your product. Um, even eyeshadow. The eyeshadow that I have on does have skincare loving ingredients in it. It's very, very important, especially if you use makeup every day, to have those type of ingredients that's going to help your area of concern in it. Um, of course, you do need to continue using your skincare routine um, in the AM as well as in the PM, but in my opinion, it will help you achieve your goal just that much faster if all of your products have skincare loving ingredients in them. So I'm going to go ahead and get in this look and I'm going to talk about what ingredients these products have and how it can help you and things like that. And just remember, if by chance, if you have a skincare routine and you've been using it consistently for like six months, three months, six months, something like that, and you're not seeing any change whatsoever, it would be my recommendation that you go ahead and see a dermatologist. But if you have a good skincare routine in the AM, in the PM, and you also incorporate good uh, makeup, makeup that's going to have skincare loving ingredients, you should be able to achieve your goals. So hope you're still interested. Let's get into this look. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna start off with is a Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. This is it. And it's just always good to start off with your skincare products to address whatever issues or needs that uh, you have. If it's hyperpigmentation or texture or dry skin or whatever, make sure that all of your skincare products address those issues. And that's why I'm choosing to go with a serum that's going to help with hyperpigmentation. And all of you all know that Good Molecules is a very affordable brand. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with a eye serum. This is it, this is by Clarins. This is their Total Eye Lift Serum, but it also helps with uh, dark circles. Uh, but specifically, if you have any type of uh, bags under your eyes. It's really supposed to help with that. So if that's your issue and you need something that's going to work kind of fast and you want something to wear every day, this is something that would be really good to have. And now for my sunscreen, I'm going to use the Dr. Dennis Gross Lightweight wrinkle defense. All right, so here it is, and this is a all physical sunscreen, and this particular sunscreen has vitamin C and E, and we know that vitamin E is a good ingredient if you're looking for any type of protection against uh, UV rays, any type of free radicals, or things like that. Um, that's something really good to have in your skincare. So I'm going to put on quite a bit of this and I'm going to rub this in really, really good. With all of your skincare products, make sure that you blend it in really well. All right, so I'm not going to, you know, fill in my brows. I'm just going to carve them up. And I'm going to go in with my Kosas Concealer. This is it right here. And this has peptides in it as well as Pro Vitamin B5. And peptides are going to help with free radicals. It's just basically going to help with anything that ages the skin. It's going to help with any wrinkles. Of course, it's going to help with hydration. So just remember, you know, whenever you're buying your products, always try to find, look at the ingredients. And, you know, nowadays, if a product can't have at least one, you know, especially here in 2022, if it can't have at least one, you know, good ingredient in it, then I just move on to the next. So I'm just going to clean up 
the brows a little bit. All right, so now that I have all of that in, to set this, I'm gonna use my Givenchy Prism powder looks like this and I'm gonna use the lightest shade it has four different shades uh, not sure if you can see all of the shades so I'm gonna be using this shade right here and this particular powder does have vitamin E in it and vitamin E is an antioxidant it's going to help with uh, protection against free radicals and again anytime you see vitamin E and you're on the quest for buying anything anti-aging as far as skincare and makeup, it's an automatic plus. I mean, that's something that you should definitely try. Okay, so I got all of that applied. So now that I have that, we're gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes Palette. So here are the shades, and this particular palette has coconut water in it. Um, this one has alpine rose in it, as well as hyaluronic acid. All right, for my brow bone highlight, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And I've always just known for Too Faced to have some type of uh, skincare ingredient in their eyeshadow palettes you know even before you know it became like a really big thing to make sure that you have skincare in your makeup and all the ingredients that they have in here are basically going to provide hydration and moisture and basically not have your skin looking extra dry because we definitely don't want that on our quest to uh, better skincare health no matter what the issue you know this uh, particular video I'm kind of concentrating on you know hyperpigmentation or just getting your complexion smooth and more hydrated okay so I got all of that in now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm just gonna put that right under the shade that I just applied All right, so now for my lid, I'm going to use this gold shade. Gold is always pretty, and I'm just gonna start off by applying it with my fingers, cause that's just what I do. Then on my lid, on the inner part, I'm gonna add this shade right here. But this time, I'm gonna use a brush. And to deepen up my crease, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Alright, so now I'm going to do the other eye and I'll be right back. Alright, so the only difference that I did with the eyes is I kind of cut the crease just to have it a little bit sharper look to it. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with the skin tint and I'm going to use the Beauty Blender Bounce tint and this tint has hyaluronic acid in it it's got niacinamide and you all know that niacinamide is good with helping dark spots uh, hyperpigmentation um, it's going to help keep the skin smooth get it smooth it's just so many things that niacinamide does and it's just overall a good skin tint to use so I'm gonna go ahead with my brush and Blend this all in. And the coverage on this is light. And I would suggest that if you have any type of like problem areas on your skin, just go in with a, um, a concealer that has full coverage and cover up those spots. And then for the rest of your complexion, just use something lighter um, if you can. If not, uh, that's fine. Too. All right, so now that I've got all of that applied, I'm gonna go in with a concealer by Neutrogena, and this is their Radiant Skin Concealer. So this concealer has peptides in it. Um, again, peptides are gonna help with free radicals, and you all know that free radicals can wreak havoc on your skin. Um, I have a whole video on that and free radicals as you all know just wreak havoc on your skin So it has peptides in it. It's got hyaluronic acid all of that good stuff So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this
All right, so now that I have all of that applied, I'm gonna go back in with my prism powder and set my under eye. All right, so to set everything, I'm gonna use my Fashion Fair press powder. I've done a video on this. I'll try to link it either up here in the car, up here in the cars or uh, down below. This is the shade. And this particular powder has blue light protection. It's got vitamin E. It's got hyaluronic acid. Uh, you know, this is to me, as far as like, it's not only a good powder to me, but the fact that it has uh, those skincare ingredients in it is a plus so okay and for bronzer I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer this has hyaluronic acid in it and this is the shade so I'm just gonna add this Alright, so for highlighter, I'm going to use this Pro uh, HD Highlighter Palette by um, Makeup Revolution. This is it. Now this has probably got, I don't think this has any um, good skincare ingredients. I do need to check. So I'm going to mix this shade and this shade. And I'm going to put a little right here. Alright, so I'm going to go back in with my eyeshadow palette and do my lower lash line. So I'm going to put this on my lower inner eyelid and I'm going to put this on the outer part. So these two shades. All right, so now I'm going to use a Stila liquid lipstick and I'll put the uh, color that I'm gonna use on the screen. This is just a nude lipstick. And then for a gloss, I do have a Maybelline uh, gloss lifter, uh, lifter and this has hyaluronic acid in it. And I'm just gonna apply this over the lipstick I just applied. All right, and for setting spray, I'm gonna use my PYT Beauty Setting Spray. And this particular setting spray has lots of good ingredients. It comes in a bottle like this. All right, so that is pretty much it. This is the final look using makeup products that are gonna help my skin look better over time, be it dark spots, whether your skin is dry, needs to be hydrated, or smooth, just all of that good stuff. So let me know, have you tried any of these products that I've talked about? If so, let me hear down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in, and until my next video, smooches.